Alrighty, YouTube, what is up, what is up? So, this year I am going to try to do something different that I haven't really done. Um, it's just more of like, talk about our review for this year. I honestly, I don't think I've done this before, but this is where I kind of want to start doing it now. And like, I don't want this to come back like as in a bad way or anything. And just kind of, just kind of talk about like, hey, this is what we need to improve for next year, blah, blah, blah. You, you know what I mean? It's kind of like grading myself without necessarily being too harsh, but just kind of being open with you guys in a sense, if that makes sense as well. This is just so that I can improve as, uh, you know, being a content creator and, you know, for making content for you guys. Hopefully, you know, you guys are still, you know, interested in me, even though. Look, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I'm going to give myself the greatest grade this year. I feel like there was a bunch of like loops in here and there, which is the point of this, right? Like I'll be explaining like, hey, this is kind of what happened and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, before we do get started, just as always, and most importantly, I just want to thank all of you guys. Honestly, like this channel literally would be nothing without you guys. You know, thank you guys for the support, even though I felt like I was lacking this year. You guys were still there in the comments and the uh, pressing the, the like buttons, you know, coming over to my streams, commenting and stuff like that. This is all because of you guys, you know, it's like, no, I'm not quitting or anything, right? Nothing. It's just like, it's just fun. It's just like, there's a lot of things that are just kind of going around that's kind of, you know, new things and stuff like that. But like I said before, Thank you guys for, you know, still giving me a chance, you know, to try to give you guys some content, even though not everything is great, but I try and hopefully we can improve, right? All right. So let's start off uh, technically this year. So this year was a little bit different for me. Um, it's kind of weird because like, I feel like I started off really good. You know, um, honestly, the Sifu freaking uh, guides were like pretty amazing for me. They, they were doing me really well. And at, at the start of this year, I can't remember where we were. We were like somewhere around six, seven hundred subscribers, I think. Obviously, the goal was to try to reach a thousand, which is pretty cool because we ended up reaching it, right? Um, but I will tell you this, though. Somewhere around like the March slash April months, that's kind of just like where I got kind of, um, I got burnt out a little, if if I'm going to be honest. Um I feel like the entire like year, you know, starting since January, I guess 2022, I just started playing RPG games. You know, we, we started off playing Ghost of Tsushima and we were just finishing off Horizon Zero Dawn. And then, you know, Elden Ring came in there and we were just playing uh, like Ghost Tokyo and all this. And it was just like, hey, like go wherever you want, blah, blah, blah. And like do all these collectibles. And I just feel like I got burnt out. I honestly feel that uh, Ghostwire Tokyo was on that just really got me. I'm just like, bro. Wow. It just to me, collectibles are not really the most funnest thing to do. Especially when there's like over 100. That is like overkill for me. Anything under 100, it, it's okay. I prefer 50 or less. That'd be okay. But it was just to a point where I got burnt out. You know, and I was like, you know what? I need to play like smaller games because these big ones are just killing me at the moment, right? And also, you know, like around that era, or I guess around that time, that's when I look, I, and I'm being honest with you guys, I just kind of like wasn't sleeping well. I don't understand why. It's like I would go to sleep like around 11, you know, or slash midnight. And like for some reason, I would wake up like at two or three and like, I don't understand why. Like, I feel like it was just stress in, in my part. Because I'm like, all right, dude. Like, <clears throat> we're almost to the 1,000. And it's like, you're still not technically working, you know? It's like, I personally want to, you know, want to move up in life as well, right? Because, like I said, um, at, at that time, I believe I was, like, still, like, a year and a half with my girlfriend. Again, n nothing too crazy, but just, like... I want to advance, you know, I want to do my part where I contribute as well, you know, and like, I feel like all this was just kind of stressing me out and everything because it's like, oh my God, like I still don't technically have a job at the moment. I'm not really going to go back to school. And it's like YouTube is like, honestly, what I won't want to try to do. Right. But it's also going to take years to get to that level. Uh, so I just wasn't sleeping well. I wasn't doing content, if I'm going to be honest with you, like throughout that. And then Pokemon Arceus was also like another RPG that I was just like. <sighs> I need to take a break from these RPG games, which is why I started kind of venturing into like the little indie games and stuff. But around that area, yeah, it just like, <clears throat> I don't know. It just kind of was really, really stressful, you know? Um, and then obviously uh, the girlfriend went away 
for summer for like a couple of weeks and you know we've never necessarily been kind of you know separate from each other i guess and like not like not the boom i'm like attached you know but it was just kind of like hey this is the first time it was a little bit sad for me just because i'm like i don't know i feel like when like when i'm just here at the house just doing content creation like i i need to get out <laughs> You know, it, it, it's like a very stressful environment because it's like, all right, is this going to work? Is this not going to work? You know, uh, but aside from that, yeah, it just like it, it was just the stress of like, hey, can I get a job or not? And little do you know, it, we ended up getting a job this year, which is which is something I'll kind of get more into like down the road. But uh, let's go with streaming. So on streaming, I feel like we did a better job this year um, in streaming, like not the best, obviously, but we did that a little bit more. That typical just because like look in the past years i've only had like you look and i'm not going to use names just because like i don't want to forget anyone but you know you guys know who you guys are you know like in the past years i used to only have one or two people just in my streams right and then that wasn't towards till the end of last year where like people just started coming in <clears throat> and it was pretty exciting and i feel like this year like a lot of those people kind of carried over and they stuck with us you know in in the channel which is freaking amazing you know um it just feels cool that like nowadays it's like I have like two to three, four or five people just like they're constantly watching, you know, and it just feels really amazing. So it's like it's cool. But like I feel like I, I went more into streaming, which is still OK for me. Like that's OK with me. Like that's what I want to do. Right. But then we're talking about those months where I told you I'm like, Ugh, I didn't want to do anything just because I wasn't sleeping well and all that. But I feel like then streaming was going good. And then that's kind of when I got the job and it went downhill for a while. And then, you know, we started picking it back up again where I'm like, all right, this is how we're going to do this, blah, blah, blah. And then I started streaming at night, you know, usually. And, like, it sucks because, like, I, I was really tired, you know, at night. And, you know, I'm tired. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it doesn't always seem like I'm always super excited to be playing because it's night. You know, I'm still trying to chunk out of it, you know. Like, if a game's, like, 30 hours, it's like, hey, I'll try to take out two and a half hours each day when i can you know especially when i'm working right so that was it but uh yeah that's it for 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 streaming right now just like i said it was kind of there with streaming now guides on the other hand that's where i feel like i went literally way down um i started like i said pretty good uh in towards the beginning of the year because there, there was a lot of games so you know so obviously the biggest one that got me pretty up there was uh sifu again it's those games that are not necessarily like the most popular ones that are helping me grow. And that's something that I like, I'm noticing like, Hey, not a lot of people are making uh, guides on these. So this is where you should be focusing a lot. Right. Especially since people get games early and stuff like that. Uh, but aside from that, like I, if I'm going to be honest, um, I believe Trek to Yomi was like the last guide that I did, which was like in April. And then after that, I didn't make any guides. I honestly believe that the last, or the next one after that was Call of Duty. And that wasn't until October. And then even then, like, I, I feel like I did the freaking guides, but I didn't upload them. And 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 I'll explain why right now as well. <laughs> um, And then I just waited, like, for a month. Like, they were literally there. Like, all I had to do was just put public, but I just waited. Then High on Life came. And I did those as, as well. And for some reason, I waited a week again. And I'm just like, dude, like, what are you doing? You know, it's like, I'll be honest, like, it felt like I got kind of scared again to like do guides. I don't know why, just because like, I've been so often from it, that it's kind of like, am I doing this pretty good? I don't know. See, that's something that I need to work on, which I'll also like explain towards the end of the video, we're just kind of like, all right, dude, just come on, just do them. Keep on improving once again, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I, honestly, for guides, I feel like I did crap this year. And I'll be honest with you guys. Um, again, a lot of this is due to work, you know, that I don't, can't just necessarily concentrate on this. Uh, but that's something that I definitely need to work on. So now let's talk about monetization. So again, the entire year, I was trying to reach a thousand subscribers because that was the goal. Because, you know, let's be honest, I kind of want to be paid, even if it's just like 10 cents, like every three days or so. It's like, I still want to get that satisfaction where I'm like, hey, the stuff that I'm uploading it's going good, right? Um, so it was going good the first month, which I believe was in July when we reached it. And it was going good. I'm like, dude, like, I'm actually making pretty good money, you know? Like, not like 
trust me, it wasn't anything crazy. It was just like maybe a dollar a day or something. I'm like, dude, this is so freaking awesome. And then I came into a problem with uh, Google because, and like, I'll be honest with you guys, um, in my AdSense account, I just have like my first name and my last name. And on one of my IDs, like the only one that I have, it's got like my middle name and like my second last name. And um, it just becomes an issue because uh, they like need some, you know, like, hey, this is what you blah, blah, blah. Like we need an entire ID where it just has that. So I'm like, okay. So in a sense, I was just talking to Google and they were like, okay, you need to do this, blah, blah, blah. So I, I've been trying to work with them, you know, and sometimes they respond late. So it's to the point where I'm just like, you know what? I just need to take out some other type of ID and try to work that out with them, you know? Or, you know, maybe create another AdSense. Uh, but, you know, due to like all this stuff, like, you know, a lot of government stuff are like really slow right now. You know, it's packed and due to the whole, like, you know, the COVID stuff, it's still really going slow. So hopefully at the end of next year, we should be good. I'm still, you know, contacting them, which is kind of what happened. Why, you know, all these tiers and all that, like we said that I was going to try to do, they didn't come through because I'm not getting monetized. And like, it, it kind of sucks because like, I saw that, you know, like how I was doing when I'm like, Hey, these videos are like ranking up and like, it's getting me more money. And then once the monetization came and it stopped paying me, it just kind of like, I'm like, do I want to wait up to put these videos later on so it can all count? Or should I just kind of just do it? Which is kind of what like lacked motivation for me in a sense. Cause it's like, oh, but I'm not going to be getting paid anymore. If that makes sense. And like, I feel like that was a big drawback for me, which is what, you know, may maybe not want to do. Cause like, trust me, I had all these ideas that I want to do like, Hey, Let's talk about this video or like this new controller or like, hey, this news. But it was like, ah, oh, but I'm not going to be getting paid. You know, so it, it kind of sucked on me on that part. But hopefully through the beginning of this year, we can just kind of scratch that and just improve. And then hopefully, you know, we can do both. So that's for the monetization part. Now this year, like I said, it was a maturing year for me. Okay, let's put it that way. Um, I didn't necessarily do the greatest when it came to content creation and that's fine. You know, I'll accept the L, the L, but it was something to me where like, you know, I went back to working again, you know, it's like, I'm, I started getting money. I started, you know, pretty much showing my, you know, my girlfriend that like, Hey, like, you know, cause we are planning obviously like moving, but not like yet, but like a little bit more down the road, but it's kind of more just like, Hey, like I can contribute as well too. And just like, just, just that satisfaction of going to work, coming back and then like grinding on like YouTube felt really good, you know? Uh, so just kind of good to like be saving my own money, be able to spend my own money, be able to buy stuff that I kind of wanted that I couldn't buy before. Cause it was like, okay, like this is too expensive, but now it's like, okay, now I can do all this. Right. So obviously that was a big step in my life, you know? Cause like I said, I'm 30, you know, and like for a guy to be doing YouTube at this point, it's kind of like, whoa, you're a little too late, aren't you? It's like, no, I want to show like, hey, I can have a jo uh, another job while at the same time be building YouTube, you know, because it's something that's going to take a couple hours, uh, excuse me, <laughs> because it's something that's going to take a couple years for you to actually, you know, start making some money. Again, it's not like I'm trying to go super famous because I'm not, I'm just trying to make, you know, where I, I can make like a living off of YouTube. But again, it's gonna take some years, right? <clears throat> Not only that too, but we also, um, you know, I I mentioned like the vlogs channel. We actually ended up doing two channels this year, like new channels besides Fake Hector. We did Fake Vlogs and Fake Toys, you know? Again, I wanted to get into the vlog business again, just cause like, hey, it, it's gonna take some time, you know, to obviously get there. And again, I don't do anything exciting, but it's just like, I wanna record part of my life. You know, it's like, I want to be able to like record stuff that's happening. And then later down the road, just be like, oh, remember when you were to that spot, dude, and you came through or like just in general to show like my future kids, like, hey, at the age of 30, I was still doing YouTube and, you know, I didn't turn out to be such a loser. Like, look at me now, you know, like whatever the future holds for me, you know, it's like, hey, this is what I'm doing now. This is what I was doing in my 30s. Like, it doesn't mean like, hey. You need to start super fast when you're 21. You got to be rich. It's like, no, just chill. You know, I'm just being super positive And I just want to, you know, have like that documentation about that. And then the other one, it's like the toy channel. I, I just kind of noticed like, dude, 
this channel is like fake hector it's literally just all video games the guides is it's what's working Con uh, combining it with toys was kind of like weird to me because i'm like hmm, i'm barely even doing any toys anymore because the power rangers right i was like there was a huge like issue in the beginning of the year where like stuff weren't even coming in to the ports and all that so a bunch of them were delayed and it's like okay well whatever but i decided to do another one because look i i got into legos this year i don't know why i'm just in that motion of building and i'm like dude like this is cool. Like, I want to be doing stuff like this. I want to collect stuff, but this doesn't match this channel. So I did the other one, you know, where, as you guys can see down here too, I got some model kits, which I actually really want to get to. It's like Dragon Ball Z and Digimon. And there's like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Power Rangers stuff as well. So that that's why I just want to have that separate. But again, this is the, the main channel still, you know, this is the one that's making me money. And like, no, like if the other channels were the ones making money, like I would not put this one aside. Cause look, video games is still my most important passion. I love video games. I don't think I'll ever try to stop. Okay. But it's just like, I want to kind of dip here and there, you know, grow everything together. And towards the future, you know, have to the point where I have 1K on all three channels and, you know, make something out of it, you know, hold up. Let me show you guys exactly like what I mean for, for like Legos. All right, apologize if the camera didn't move. I feel like I moved it a little, but okay, look, this isn't necessarily gaming relating or related, but this is gaming as well, you know? So look, I'm hoping you guys can see this as well. It's a freaking Nintendo, like Lego, like the original NES, and it's like a Lego set. Um, this one's obviously a little bit like o over the top, uh, but this is what, what I wanted for Christmas. You know, this is what I put on the list for my girlfriend, and it's just like, dude, like, just the ability to have this is just freaking amazing you know it's like it's still gaming re related but it's like another part of the toy aspect that i really like so i i hope you guys can really see this uh but it's just like awesome it it's it just like stuff like this that, like i just want to freaking do you know um just want to you know have and like i know it, it's it, you know it's like it, it can distract from other channels but you know just take it little by little and we'll go from there and now let's talk about like, I guess the future plans, you know, cause I'm not ready like freaking 20 minutes in already. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I have no clue how, how many minutes we're in right now, but you know, I just, I'm just blabbing. Uh, but I, I look for, for this upcoming year, <clears throat> I do want to work on YouTube or on, on shorts and on TikToks, I guess. I don't know. Um, that's i guess the way to kind of help improve the channel as well you know get more views get more subscribers because shorts and tiktoks are kind of the way to kind of you know grab your attention for a while and then just like hey suck you into youtube you know and go like hey okay so if you want to watch the actual full review here it is you know what i mean or like the entire guide here you go and that's something that i kind of want to work on so hopefully uh that doesn't necessarily take like a lot of I guess space you know how when you go check a channel you check on videos and you know all those things are kind of there i'll probably do them like unlisted after some point you know what i mean but uh, at least for youtube right because like tiktok i don't know how i'm gonna do it i mean i do have a tiktok account but uh, i don't know i don't really know how to use it it's just like i just use it for where like the girlfriend sends me tiktoks and that's it you know but definitely do want to work on more stuff like that but i feel like tiktok is gonna be more for like all three channels while it just shorts for you guys you know it's just gonna be gaming related so there's that but also um <clears throat> i'm gonna try to fix uh my like channel tab you know because if you go on my tab right now it's just a bunch of like live streams and like i want to not take them out but also just put them unlisted so just have d different playlists like hey if you want to watch like a playlist that i had from here there it is but it just won't be on the main page i guess you have to go a little digging you know just because like i want you guys to see like the guides and videos like this you know what i mean and then lastly look i just have to be more involved with you guys you know i feel like that's something i really did super terrible this year as well i wasn't always like communicative with you guys were like hey this week i'm not gonna stream or like hey i'll stream on tuesday and you know like, I just want to be open with you guys, you know? And this is where I feel like I need to use more of the YouTube community tab and Discord, okay? Um, 
I'm still trying to, you know, like to me, Discord is there. I do have a Discord. I put it down in the description below. But I, it just like, I just don't know how to utilize it too much. Because like, I already have Twitter, right? Where it's like, that's something else I have to use more. I mean, if it doesn't go down, right? Because that's what they're being, that's what they've been saying. Like, oh, YouTube is dead. But I feel like it's still going to be there. Um, but you know, I do have Twitter as well, which is where I feel like I'm more active, but I've been really slow lately, but I do want to get a discord involved where like I can ask bigger questions and stuff like that. And then just community tab, just be open. Like, Hey, I'm not feeling good right now, blah, blah, blah. Or just like, you know, just like, Hey, what guide would you guys like me to make? I need to be more open with stuff like that. Not just Twitter, you know, be more comfortable with all that. But like I said, I want to get your guys' uh, feedback and a lot of these things you know so it's gonna go a long way but uh i feel like we're kind of ready you know just i need work to be consistent like like actual work to be consistent like i'm like hey these are the hours you're gonna work because yeah it's been kind of all over and that's that that's what messes me up because like if i don't know how work is then it's like i don't know how like i can be focused on youtube because like at any moment they can be like hey we need you right now it's like okay you know so it seems like this year is going to be pretty good, you know, now that, you know, everything's going, it's going smooth with work over there, even though we haven't worked like in over a month. Uh, but yeah. And then other than that, um, I am going to have my own like little, I guess, Xbox slash Nintendo slash Xbox PlayStation review. Sorry. Uh, kind of one, one video as well. And then I'm also going to have my, my own game awards now again, my, that's going to be my preference. I just want to look forward to you guys to to like where like look you know what like next year starting it's like hey m make a list of like hey you, I really enjoyed this this trophy slash achievement I thought this trophy slash achievement was a stupid I thought this one was the hardest you know just have like your guys's opinion as well you know because I want to have one where you guys get to decide like hey this was my favorite game this was my favorite achievement slash trophy you know what I mean. This was my favorite PlayStation game, my favorite Xbox game. Yeah, so I'm going to try to do that. Uh, but regardless to that, I need to shut up because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty long in there. I don't know how long I'm in there, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. But uh, just again, you know, thank you guys for, for putting up with me. I was very inconsistent this year. Look, if I were grade myself, I would honestly give myself... And look... Oh, and then there's something I need to improve as well, where it's just like, I just need to stop overthinking stuff and be too negative on myself and just make content, upload it, and there. Because, look, I, I'm the person that, like, I'll read comments and, like, it's, it's, you know, if it's people talking smack about me, I don't care, you know? I care more about just the positivity, like, hey, maybe you could improve on this, blah, 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 you know? But it's just like, I just need to do videos, make content, and upload it, you know what I mean? Cause like it, it's all here and it's all in paper, but then I just never do it. Cause I come back, I'm like, ah, oh, this might not be a good idea, you know? And yeah, I just kind of want to do more shorts and like more videos where we just kind of discuss about like, you know, the news of the week or something like that. And it'll be both in shorts and just videos. So those are just plans. I mean, if you guys have any ideas, you know, for anyone that actually made it this far, if you guys have any ideas of stuff that we should do as well to just improve the channel. Just let me know down the section below. But regardless, yes, I believe we're going to give ourselves if, if I were to grade myself right now for this year, I I'm not going to be too hard on myself. I'll give myself a C. If it wasn't for streaming, I literally like would give myself like an F. And if it wasn't for work, you know, I'd give myself an F minus if that's even possible. Uh, but it just like I said, it, it was more of a maturing year for me. So like outside of YouTube, just like out there like going out there you know working on stuff so won't be too harsh on myself but a C. fair enough you know what i mean but as always though ladies and gentlemen thank you guys always for your support i really do appreciate it you guys are amazing you guys are the reason why i kind of keep on going back even though you know sometimes i don't stream for like a week or so but i'll definitely improve on that and that is my fault but uh we're going to keep on doing this, okay? Hopefully, we can grow, still grow together, you know, to the point where we are, you know, making money. And not like crazy amount of money, you know. But, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Make sure to check out the other channels if you guys want to. And we'll see when we start streaming again. All right? Peace.